we're, we're just going to see the patient to um, get her consent and see if she wants to come on the virtual ward before her operation in a couple of days. Knock, knock. Hello, Hi. my name's Claire. I'm one of the nurses on the virtual ward. I've just come to give you some kit and explain what the virtual ward actually is. The kit in here will monitor your heart rate, your oxygen levels, your respiratory rate, all that kind of thing, and your skin temperature as well. So we can make sure that you're not becoming more unwell before you come in for your operation, okay? Yep. And there's a blood pressure kit in here as well. When you open it all up, there's a tablet and you just turn the tablet on. That tablet serves as a couple of different things. It's, it'll help you set the kit up to get it all ready for monitoring, but it also serves as a communication tool so you can get through to us. Mm -hmm. There's a button on there that says I'm not feeling very well. You ring that and we'll, we'll answer very quickly. Okay, thanks. that's brilliant. <laughs> all right, thank you very much for that. Cheers for that. Yeah, it's really weird. I've never heard of these virtual things until today. It's quite interesting. And this, taking a pack home. Level one. My name is Claire Beard. I work at the North Norwich University Hospital. I am the ward manager of the virtual ward team. So what are we going to do mostly? I'm going to show you the kit. Yeah, and then... So this is what the patients go home with. This is the basic kit that the patients go home with. Yeah. So I'll show you what it is, how it works. Is the room free? The first thing they do is turn the tablet on and then the tablet, when it's when it... Um, is on, we'll give them a couple of different options. It will say set up or calibrate. They press set up and it will step by step by step exact tell them exactly how to set the kit up. But we're also always on the end of the phone. They plug in the modem and that just plugs straight into the mains. Doesn't need internet connection. It gets its own internet so connection. So if someone doesn't have internet at home, that's they fine. Can still yep, oh really? They can still do it. All the patient has to do is line up the arrows, click it in, and then pop it on and that will give us the heart rate, oxygen levels, respiratory rate, skin temperature and movement and we get the information every three minutes. So with a lot of our patients, um, we see them deteriorate before they feel ill so their heart rate will go up or their skin yeah, temperature will go up. The way the virtual world works really is two-way communication. We can always get hold of them through the tablet. Yeah. But in the same way, if they wake up at three o'clock in the morning and, and aren't feeling very well, they yeah. can get hold of us yeah. as well. So your respiratory rate is fine, your oxygen levels are perfect. They're 96%, so absolutely perfect. They can't get much better than that, no. Blood pressure a bit earlier today, didn't you? Yeah, so if you can do another blood pressure for us a little bit later on this evening, just so that we've got another blood pressure on you. Any questions or are you happy with all of that? No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, okay. All right then. Just need the heavy metal <laughs> cover versions of zombie. Oh, okay. The cranberries zombie. No? Yeah. yeah. Done by Bad Wolves. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to write that down and, and listen to that. Find that on Spotify a bit later on. I'll be back around tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. All right. Okay. Take care. Thanks for Cheers, Bye. 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 With patients, that's kind of what they want, is they want somebody to yeah, talk to so and to listen yes. to them. And to so there's lots of different things that you can do if you're talking to patients. And they find it because it is very much one-to-one -one and we're not being pulled away from, I mean, we still get our phone calls and stuff, but you've not got somebody else in the next bed calling you or you've not got the drug rounds to sort out. You've not got so many different pulls. I felt violently sick and uh, woke up and said to my wife, help, I need your help now. Um, the next thing I knew was that there was the ambulance crew there. Basically, ended up in hospital. It wasn't great because you weren't allowed visitors. Um, so it was very frustrating because I'm quite a sociable person. Um, and the only thing I had there was my mobile phone. The bed was dreadfully uncomfortable. The noise was constant, monitors beeping. You had to take the monitor off to go to the toilet. It was, I think it was more depressing than anything. The mental aspect of it was very hard to deal with. So that's why I wanted to come out home so I could be in a safer, I felt in a safer environment. So that's where they offered us the situation of coming home on the virtual ward. I thought, what a brilliant idea. Um, you got the best of both worlds um, and you're not, you don't lose your place in the system. So although I'm out, I'm still technically in. They gave me the iPad, which is obviously um, it's got like to-do lists on it, check my heart rate and all this sort of stuff, blood pressure monitor and a monitor on my arm. Well, there is actually a button on the tablet 
um, which we accidentally caught at two o'clock in the morning. And about 10 minutes later, we had a phone call from the hospital uh, saying, do we need to send an ambulance? And I was like going, uh, no. One of the pieces of equipment and uh, it monitors your heart rate, your temperature and um, your oxygen levels. So it's um, quite good. I've uh, got to take this off. And then you have to put this back on, which is your blood pressure monitor. Preparing for a blood pressure reading. 163 over 98. Hello. Ah, good morning. How was your night? Um, yeah, it's good. Not bad. Slept well. Your blood pressure is still uh, high. high. Yeah. Are you feeling any symptoms from your blood pressure being elevated at all? Not really. No, no. If you could do a repeat, a repeat blood pressure for me um, around lunchtime when we yeah. appreciate it. I've got a cat on my lap now. Oh, have you? Yeah, I'll show you, shall I? I see. Yeah, do, yeah, do. Swing it, cat. Oh. You've got really good staff. You know, if, if you have staff that are just doing it for the money, I don't think it's uh, the same. Should they, the, uh, the impression I get is they're doing it because they care, if that makes sense. I'm Cyril Stiff. I work for the North Norwich University Hospital as an assistant practitioner for the virtual ward. One of our patients needs some uh, items from pharmacy. So we are going down to the pharmacy to pick it up. Hello, could I pick up some uh, medication for um, virtual ward, please? Of course you can, yep, okay. there you go. Great, thank you very much, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Now we just go down to the uh, main reception. Cyril from virtual ward. I'll send it straight away. When we first started, it wasn't as good, but now it's almost like cogs in a wheel. We're all linking together, keeping it going, and then hopefully those cogs will get bigger and bigger and everybody else will be working together with other trusts, hopefully. We've got medication for you and it's going to Cemetery Road in Deer. That's great, yeah. We have uh, obviously specific instructions, what we're picking up it seems to work really well. well. I feel very proud to be honest. Yeah, that I could play a part in helping keep life. Hello, good Hello. afternoon. <laughs> From uh, the NLN Hospital, do you have medication? Yes. Do I have your name, please, sir? Smith. This is all a big shock to me, this. I didn't even know I'd had a stroke. I had a headache last Thursday. My doctor came home from work on a Friday and said, your left side of your face has drooped. We're going to hospital. I think you're having a stroke, so that was it. Rose rang us and said she, <laughs> Leslie had to have this when he arrived, when, when it came. Two nights last Friday and last Saturday. Never having been in hospital before, overnight, it's just a big shock. And they told me about this sometime on Saturday, that I'd be going home to do this virtual ward on the Sunday. My first reaction was, he's coming home. I, uh, however he comes home, so, so, so long as he comes home. But obviously, that he would be safe because in the back of your mind you're thinking, well, what if Leslie has another a, a, a attack or something like that? Because they, the information going back to the hospital is instant. That, that's, that all helps the security, the, the feeling of security. It takes 30 mm. minutes to charge it up, and I normally do that when he's in the shower. <laughs> I, yeah. So no, it's, 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 it's brilliant. Yeah, it's very, very, very easy to put on and off. And if, if wasn't anybody here to help Leslie, you know, I'm sure that someone could do it on their own. Because it's remote and we're allowed to be with Leslie, um, I can ask questions as well, and the family, if they've got any questions. So it's, it's, it's brilliant. The hospital knows what you're up to, what's going on with your body, 24 hours a day. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. Just follow the instructions and just do it. I thoroughly recommend it. It's great being at home. It's great. You can't, you can't not want to be at home. I'm Rose Carey, I'm one of the sisters on the virtual ward team at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. Today we are training up um, new nurses to join us on the virtual ward and um, we've been doing it for the last three days. Um, we've had quite a lot of interest, you know, if we've got enough staff to man the service then the more patients that we can take on. It also means that we're expanding sort of our knowledge as well. We're getting nurses from all different backgrounds, all different specialities, so it's nice to bring in their knowledge and incorporate it into the team. First step is to turn on their tablet. 
So uh, this is the contents which will be in the box that the patients are provided with. So at the moment you can see um, this patient's oxygen levels from this morning all the way through to now and this is real time. So on the screen here um, you can see um, our progress since we started in February 2021. So this January is current. Um, but as you can see when we first started, sort of how um, our, our numbers improved and then obviously December being our busiest month. We've had 850 patients through the service so far and we've saved 5,700 bed days. So that's very good um, data so far. Our patient experience, so we're above 96%. Patients really enjoy being on the virtual ward. We get good feedback from them. Um, so that has been inputted. So yeah, very successful and impressive data. So I'm a registered nurse. Today we're going to see patient Kenneth Larkin. We're going to go in, meet them for the first time, and uh, get their observations, some blood work, and some wound care. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My Hello. name's Janae. I'm your nurse. You must be Kenneth. I'm Kenneth. And you must be Rose. Rose. Yes. It's nice to meet you both. Thank you. How's your foot been feeling? Well, it's all right. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it hasn't been in pain or anything. First thing we'll do is we'll take some blood, if that's okay with you. What is this tested for? So they're going to make sure all the there's no infection markers, and they'll be checking all your blood counts. And they'll be doing this twice a week, and the virtual ward will be keeping up with the blood results. And if at any point you need antibiotics, they'll know pretty much right away. You feel relaxed in your own home having the same yeah. treatment done. Yes. So, um, and you know, and these nurses are so... I know, so skilled. So accomplished. Yes. You just feel safe. Oh, I'll leave here hands. with a big ego if you're not careful. Places that you might have trouble are right in this area. If it's going to leak, it's probably going to be right here. So if you do notice it... Will it come up on the machine then? Yeah, it it'll say. start, it'll go kind of beep boop. Oh. and it'll tell you. This was quite terrifying to me because I felt mm. responsible for him. But as soon as um, it started out, on, like on the first day, I realised how much help we were getting. I love this job. It's the best job I've ever had as a nurse, definitely. People definitely prefer to be in their own home if they can. They dread going back in the hospital and we do everything we can to keep them out of the hospital. I think it's a better experience at, for me at work. It's a better experience for them as a patient. Um, and I think we get better outcomes with them if they can be at home. I'm a very nervous type person and I worry to the extreme of the bad all the time. So I was re really reassured. I, I, I did yeah. find that reassuring and um, so I'm very nervous about hospitals and medical treatment full stop but um, you know you this is now. this has been a mm. eye opener to me that you know that I'm experiencing this, mm. this kind of care it's just given me a lot of confidence yeah. the benefits are so high you can't compare mm. that to being in a hospital the benefits of being at home and being treated you know you just have to recommend it from my point of view I've benefited and I'm sure other people as well uh, have that opportunity to do it will benefit in the same way.